Hello, just Jamie here. Thanks for watching. This is the next episode in my unbelievably simple emulation series. So, uh, what are we doing today? We are doing the Nintendo 64, known as the N64. It came out in the mid 90s and it was in the background of the PlayStation, original PlayStation, or OG PlayStation, and of course, the Sega Saturn. So, what did the Nintendo 64 have to offer? Well, it had the revolutionary 007 Golden Eye, which is a classic gave birth to a more bigger Mario Kart 64 and we also had the first 3D game of Super Mario which was Mario 64, awesome game. So let's get on with this tutorial, I'm using Project 64 which is by far the oldest and the best emulator so if you follow the link in my description and as always I'm on Patreon so if you become a Patriot I'll give you further advice and guidance and support and I'm also doing a series of new retro inspired games so be sure to tune in and check those out, they're coming shortly. So follow the link in my description and we're going to download Project 64. Just go to the downloads tab at the top and we want to go to public releases so just left click on this one. Uh, so you've got two options here, we have a zip and we have an install. So to install this, that's fine, you go ahead and install it as usual. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and download zip. So I'm going to just click on download. And there we go. So uh, first thing you're going to need to do for this one to tidy it up is right click on your desktop, go to new, go to folder and create a new folder I'm going to call mine N64. I'm going to just drag this zipped folder out onto my desktop and left click it and drag it into the newly created N64 folder. Go inside this folder and right click on this zipped folder. I'll use WinRAR, you might use another extraction program, just uninstract this. And there we go, so we can now get rid of the compressed zipped folder we just downloaded. You're going to need to find yourself some games, maybe you've got your own cartridges, uh, you'll need to use some software to extract your cartridges data to use it. So let's just open up the Project 64 application, so double left click and it's asking us right here for a game directory. So what I'm going to do is if I go back into this N64 folder, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to simply call this folder Games. So I've also got GoldenEye, which is a .z64 file, I'm going to drag this one into this games folder I've just created. And it's obviously asking us where the program can find the game, so if I just left click on these three dots, and I find this N64 folder, which is on my desktop, I'm going to just click on N64 and the games folder is just there so if I just highlight that and press OK. Our next option is asking us if we've got a modern PC, so modern I'm guessing within the last few years, maybe even 10 years, you might need to experiment with this. I'm using a fairly new laptop um, so I'm going to keep this with modern PC, OK. And there we go, so we've opened this up and it has detected our game GoldenEye. So let's just open this up and see how this runs. So as always, I've got my PS3 controller connected for my tutorials. But uh, of course it's not working, uh, some emulators will configure, auto configure for you, some will have to manually do so. So to configure this situation all you need to do is just go up to options, we go to input settings and you're going to find a picture of the classic N64 controller. So to configure your own controller to use this all we're going to do is just left click on each one of these and I'm going to use my D-pad on my PS3 controller to do this and down and left and right. Now for analog stick I'm choosing to use my left thumb stick on my controller so up, down, left, right and of course the triggers at the top so I'm going to use my L1 button and my R1 button. Our C buttons 
I'm going to use my right bum stick for these. And for B and A, I'm going to use X and square. And of course, don't forget the bottom ones. Uh, these are two important buttons to configure. So start, I'm going to just use my start button. And for Z, I'm going to use my L2 button. So once this is done, all we're going to do is click apply and then go to OK. And there we go, so I'm using my left thumbstick and of course the L2 button just here, which is going to act as a Z button, which works really well. So as we can see, this is working really well and Project 64 has gone on a hell of a long way in the past 10 years. Uh, when this started, this emulator started development back in the day, it didn't run too much and games were very laggy, especially this one, which is why I've chosen Warden Eye. So let's take a look at other settings we can do. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to play this full screen. So if we just go to options and we go to graphic settings. You can check different options here, such as full screen resolution. So I'm using a 1080p laptop. So I'm going to just go to 1920 by 1080p. And I want this in 16 by 9 ratio. So I'm going to left click on that. And I'm going to also enable Y Sync and Aspect Ratio. I'm going to put to try to adjust game to fit by save and close. So that's set. Now all I need to do is go back to options full screen how cool is that and of course there's other options you can play around with if we go back into graphic settings we can choose anti-aliasing so we got fx double a here and ms double a so if you hover over these each one of these will tell you what they do and how it might potentially affect your processor and your gpu uh, you also got enable threaded video project 64 will automatically save your games just like it's the real thing but if there's a point where you need to save it all we need to do is just go to system if we go to save state and if you look at the bottom it says save to current state so if I just play this a little longer and I'll just hide away in the corner over here. If I go back to system and I go to load state, there we go, we're back to where we just saved it from. And of course this emulator will also nowadays emulate the N64 Double D, which was an add-on for the N64. Uh, didn't gain much popularity and what it did, uh, the games were Japanese for it, uh, they were disc based. So Project 6 War also emulates that. This video has just obviously been the standard N64 games. So as always, if you've got any questions, join me on Patreon and become a Patreon. Check out my other videos. I've got a playlist as the Unbelievably Simple series. Very good stuff. Have a good day. See you later.